Ready. My name is Isola Ethel Fedford Collins, and I was born here in Galveston, Texas, in 1929, October the 26th. My mother was a teacher before me for almost 52 years, my grandfather for 52 years. They have been here, my family, since 1865, when Juneteenth actually started. My grandfather was only five years old. We came across with his father from Port Bolivar to Galveston when they declared the freedom uh, when he was only five years old with his family. And he was a teacher here as the only person who had grown up here and started school in Reedy Chapel Church, which was the East End School for African Americans. And he stayed here until he finished what was then a Central High School. And it is many times over Central High School when I went there. We've had a long time in education since I also ran for the school board in 1986 and was there until 1995. I would like to say that this book was a real be life's wonderful work because Island of Color details all of what happened to African Americans in Galveston where really the culture of our nation started. My grandfather Ralph Albert Skull was visionary enough to write down all of the things that happened to him in the time that he lived. And he covered all of the disciplines, education, church, home, medicine, everything, entertainment. And so anybody who wants to know how our culture really started can read this book. And it's not just for African Americans because we are all Americans. Every American needs to know how things started. The first churches of every major denomination started in Galveston the first high school, the first medical facilities, uh, entertainment facilities. Many people do not know there was a real symphony orchestra right here in Galveston. People who of color played timpani drums. He actually has recorded that. We don't know, just like they knew about Fiddler from Roots, we found that there were many things that people did not know about. So I've attempted not only to go on my grandfather's writings, which he wrote every night in his book after he retired from teaching, I was able to see him as a child in my home writing every night. But I also went to interview people after his death and after he recorded this, who were over 90 years old. Almost five or six people were already over 100. And I'm happy to say that they gave me willingly their account of what they remembered about Galveston. There's a lot to say, and I have a little time to say it, but I thank God for my life, which has been saved from Ike and from many other situations, <laughs> including the fall I had from directing a choir at St. Patrick's Church just this past November. And thanks to God for our very existence in every moment, everything we have belongs to God. Give him honor. That's Miss Isola Collins and here's her book, Island of Color, Color, where Juneteenth started. Thank you, Miss Collins. Thank you very much, Ted, and I bless you for having done this.